Franz Kafka's protagonist in The Metamorphosis, Gregor Samsa, a traveling salesman and sole bread earner of Samsa family, wakes up one morning to find out that he has turned into a giant insect. Gregor's major concern, however, is not his mysterious transformation. He is worried of being late for his work, and despite his reduced mobility as a consequence to structural changes, he is thinking of ways to catch the last available train which will soon be due for departure. Gregor is a punctual man and has never been late for his work over a period of five years. His family members, which includes his father, mother and a teenage sister, are surprised when he doesn't attend for breakfast on morning. Within a couple of hours, his angry manager from work turns up at his home to find out the reason for absence. The manager is petrified to see Gregor's transformation and leaves the scene immediately. Gregor apparently loses his job, and is locked in his room by his scared family for months. Kafka goes on to describe the transition in attitude of Gregor's family towards him after his transformation. Having been dependent on Gregor financially all this while, there is also a transition in their own individual and interpersonal roles within the family. The metamorphosis compels the readers to ponder over an important question. Who underwent the process of metamorphosis? Was it really the protagonist, or was it his family? Or perhaps, both Gregor and his family? The Metamorphosis in Today's World Kafka wrote The Metamorphosis in 1912. More than a hundred years later today, Gregor Samsa's story feels even more relevant than ever. Let us get into Gregor Samsa's shoes and ask ourselves a few questions. What if, you and I wake up one morning, to find out that we are not in our usual self? A sudden physical ailment? Maybe a stroke leaves us paralyzed partially or completely? Or during pandemic time, we get up with COVID, or its serious complications, leaving us stranded? Something that can confine us to our rooms for an indefinite period? What impact will it have on our dynamics with people who depend, or would be depending on us? Will we get support and reassurance of work from our employers? And more importantly, what will be our own feelings at that point in time? Gregor Samsa, just like any other working person of today, was instrumental within his own little world, but he was insignificant in grander scheme of things. Most of us are subjugated by various organizations within the corporate world of today. One can argue that the term given to this modern day slave is an employee, where they are part of a rat race, just as Gregor Samsa in early 20th century. Being punctual and efficient is not a quality, it is a survival tool. No one will care if you are on time for work every day. But people will notice if you are late even once. Faulty machines are replaced. That's how factories work. If one day our body falters from ailment, a healthier body will be hired to do our job and we will be forgotten within no time. So, what was Kafka referring to when he titled the book The Metamorphosis? I think The Metamorphosis is about both, a transition from outside and within. Readers are told in depth about the external changes that happened to Gregor Samsa, and to some extent other characters. But Kafka also hints on internal transition, right at the beginning, and more so as the narrative moves along. How else can one explain the first thought of Gregor Samsu after waking up to find out that his human body has converted into an insect? How did this happen? Is not his first thought. I am late for work, is his immediate reaction. Such a thought can only be instilled into a brain that has undergone a process of systematic transition by the brutal corporate world of modern time. As it happens to Gregor Samsa, it can very well happen to any of us, as we all are part of the same system, where work should take precedence over our own personal life. To summarize this book, Kafka makes us aware that in modern corporate world, a contemporary human is influentially subjected to both physical, and cognitive change. Or more fittingly, a human is subjected to the metamorphosis. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.